Michael White, my name, and I attended Caulfield Grammar School, uh, commencing at the uh, primary campus, uh, Shaw House, in 1955. My uh, year of leaving school was 1966. I remember fondly, uh, in those days, I was quite withdrawn uh, and shy, would you believe? Not many people would uh, would be, uh, they'd be amazed to hear that, uh, that I was shy and retiring. But uh, it, I really enjoyed Shaw House because uh, it brought myself out of uh, the shyness uh, and uh, the development of needing friends, but I had one highlight uh, at Shaw House, which had a profound effect on me. And that was that um, in year three, I think it was, we were introduced to a new student that came into our class by the then headmaster, Stan Curl. And he was a, a Japanese student and his name was Uwasaki. And uh, uh, we were all sort of mesmerized because Uwasaki couldn't speak English. And uh, here he is uh, coming into our grade, uh, year three, and I uh, thought to myself, how is he going to survive? He can't speak English. To cut a long story short, and this had a profound effect on me in life, uh, I became very friendly with Uwasaki, and um, I helped out where I could in the playground and so on and so forth. Uh, and came the end of year three and the exam results came through, uh, the ducks of English in our class was Uwasaki. Oh, look, I, I, I love the big school. Um, tentative at the start, but uh, it was an era of developing friendships, uh, which I still hold today. Um, but one notable feature that I think brought me out of my shell uh, was uh, in year seven, we went to Yarra Junction, the school farm, uh, coming house. And whilst it was a bit scary at the start, um, I learned a lot, not about just farming and milking cows and feeding the pigs, uh, but I learned a lot about myself uh, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed Yarra Junction. If you speak to anyone from my era when we go to reunions, Yarra Junction's on top of the list for a discussion and we always reflect back to our fond memories uh, at Yarra Junction. Well, uh, I left school, as I mentioned earlier, in 1966. Uh, and uh, I didn't stay idle for long because the very next day uh, after leaving school, I was in a suit and I joined the family real estate business. I'm a fourth generation member of, uh, uh, of our family that uh, uh, had real estate as a career. But aside from that, I also joined the Caulfield Grammarians Football Club. Uh, and played football uh, with the Caulfield Grammarians and that really got me involved uh, very much so uh, in, in the uh, Caulfield Grammarians Association and their affiliate clubs uh, and as such I've been able to contribute there uh, over many years uh, in a variety of uh, uh, things that were on offer from the Caulfield Grammarians Association and um, whilst uh, it's said by my uh, sons, Dad, you left school in 1955 and you're still there. And uh, I'm rather proud of that because I'm not leaving. Um, and uh, as our school song says, you're part of the school from the time you begin it, you're part of the school for the rest of your life. And uh, that's a philosophy that I'm enjoying very much. When I was at Yarra Junction, um, we were talking as a group, uh, as a class group, uh, with the head of the Yarra Junction campus, and he suggested that we might like to consider a motto of life, uh, or a motto for life. Uh, I did that, and I, I took it very seriously. Uh, and it's care, support, and belong. My father was a very successful man in, in, in real estate. Uh, and I admired him 
he was my first mentor, my father, and we were having a talk and he suggested a put a plant in my mind that you've got to have a steering wheel for life, something that you can guide yourself and capitalise on, not just for yourself, but for others too. And we talked about caring, uh, we talked about supporting, and we talked about the importance of belonging. Um, and I worked solidly on that through my life, and it's given me so much joy. Uh, and to uh, consolidate with the connectivity of school friends, uh, which has grown um, over the years. In fact, uh, uh, so much so that, uh, uh, you know, we have a very, very uh, excellent group of past students that were all great mates. And to this very day, uh, each year we go away. Probably off uh, my steering wheel of life, I would have to mention that to a, a a departing year 12 student, and that is that some sort of guidance in that area would be care, uh, support and belong. For an early school leaver, um, it's important for them to go out and discover other things other than Caulfield Grammar and the Caulfield Grammarians Association. And uh, that's basically what I did too. Um, uh, via the Army Reserve. I then got involved also in addition to football, some motor racing. Um, and I, I sort of went that way and, and not the grammarian situation straight away. It's a privilege that, it, that a, a privilege that I was sent to Caulfield Grammar School. Um, I've loved every minute of it and I continue to love every minute of it. Uh, since retiring from real estate, um, tremendous volunteer job uh, and that is that I'm back helping the CGA with Gold Alumni, I'm back helping the school foundation and I'm back helping the football club. So out of that there's three things I'm doing uh, that complement uh, care, support and belonging.